In today's video, we'll take you to the red carpet for the premiere of the New Look series Season 1, starring Ben Mendelsohn, Juliette Binoche, John Malkovich, Maisie Williams, and Emily Mortimer. Make sure to watch this video all the way to the end, as we bring you the exclusive interviews with the cast and crew of the series on the red carpet. I would say that it is uh, about uh, people who are facing an incredibly uh, challenging situation. It's not what you think it is. It's a it's a real thriller. It's quite uh, it's quite horrifying at times, but it's uh, it's a fantastic series. I'm immensely proud of it. Oh, just to, just to go on the ride. I mean, it's entertainment first and last. Filming in Paris was um, was an honour. It's a real honour to be there. It helped that we stayed there the whole time just to soak up the ambiance, etc. But yeah, it was wonderful. My character is like sort of um, this half English, half German spy guy who's like commissioned by the Nazis to sort of, you know, infiltrate important people in Paris. I'm not sure it's been put to film before, has it? I mean, so the whole thing of, of what happened in Paris with those fashion houses and, and and what happened during the war and how she was not able to work because half her business was owned by Jews and they obviously they left for good reasons and then that left her in a limbo and then he's starting to do his thing and they all try to survive. We did shoot on locations and, and it is a pretty city isn't it? It's like it's got massive and, and amazing buildings and and, and 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 we shot in so many different and, and wonderful places. Oh my gosh, where to begin? I, I think it's really groundbreaking. I don't know if there's been a series like it yet about the story behind one of the two of the greatest couture houses in the world um, at a very crucial time between the two world wars. And I, I learned so much doing it. Now I have a totally different perspective on couture and um, I think the stories are gonna they're riveting and um, I was very very honored to be a part of it a little part of it um, but I'm so excited for people to see it just to see the world that they've never seen before and the stories that they've never heard before and what's behind the create the, you know the, the creation and um, I mean what's behind Miss Dior the perfume you know it's just Really, it's human. It's it's um, about things that shaped our world. Of course, you know, between the two world wars, um, and I'm I'm I just think it's I I just think it's really extraordinary, and the fact that it was pulled off, amazing. I play Catherine Dior, which is Christian's younger sister. Um, she was part of the French Resistance during the Second World War and was captured and taken to. Uh, camps in Germany. Um, she survived there for nine months and came home and her relationship with Christian was so beautiful and um, she kind of became one of the original muses for his with, for his brand. I feel so proud of this show and I'm really pleased that it's finally coming out. I think that audiences are going to really learn a lot about these characters or names that they already you know very familiar with but it's kind of a story that maybe hasn't been told before and um, I feel so lucky to be a part of it. Lucien Lelong was a uh, French uh, gentleman who had his own uh, design house, Maison Lelong, and uh, he was also the uh, head of the French Haute Couture Syndicale, uh, most especially during the, the years of the occupation. Um, and, uh, a number of really great designers passed through the house of Le Long, Christian Dior, Balenciaga, Balmain, Givenchy, Pierre Cardin, many, many. And he was, uh, I think, not, not a 
designer of much talent, but a great recognizer and cultivator of talent. I'm excited for people to see Ben's work, which I've always thought was wonderful. And uh, I think he's such a unique actor and brings a lot of qualities that a lot of male actors either don't have or, or wouldn't dream of doing. The music that we made, we made these classic wartime songs that at the time uh, were very peppy and uh, sort of like hiding the true meaning. So it was very interesting to take modern artists and recreate them in, a, a, I don't know, like a, bring in a lot more sadness to the joy. The music to me is so elegant and the arrangements are so elegant and I think there's a big connection there uh, with the show and the fashion in the show and like the really ornate arrangements in the music. I think the music almost, not literally, but sounds very expensive. Like it, there's so much going on. And, and so that's that's the, the, the thread between the, those two, eh, pun intended, uh, there. But, I, but for me, a lot of the music, less so about the fashion, also, I really wanted to capture the, the real dissonance of the time uh, and the invasion and how these wartime songs were like both telling the truth and propaganda all at once. It's a roller coaster of emotions, full of contradictions, had a traumatic childhood and events that really shaped her survivor uh, force. And uh, I learned with her every day a new thing. So it was never the same. It was always changing. Every day was a new, a new things to achieve, a new th mountain to climb. I'd never been in a TV show, so I didn't know what it felt like to be seven months, you know, on the horse, like riding. <laughs> I'm eager to see the confrontation, even though we didn't have a lot of scenes together, uh, because they have contrasted lives, and uh, you know, Drio is coming from a wealthy family and. Chanel it comes from a very poor family, so it's interesting how they evolve, how they develop their being through that need of creating, need of meeting with artists, need of, you know, um, being designer the best they could. It was an experience unlike I've ever had, working in Paris, working with this crew, the actors, and then telling the story of Christian Dior and Coco Chanel, and this time period of post-war uh, creativity coming through the occupation, Nazi occupation of Paris, um, and really a life-changing seven-year-long journey to get here. To really understand the stories of these people whose names have been around us all of our lives, Dior, Chanel, Balenciaga, Balmain, Givenchy, to realize that these are fully lived people, their lives, and they came through extraordinary times. Yeah, I think to recognize the power that they're still around and they're still, if anything, more a part of everybody's lives than ever before. It goes to the power of the script, the scripts that he wrote and supervised. And, and you know, when you have great actors like this, so much more is possible. It was an uh, experience, again, unlike anything, because we had really supported us in filming in Paris, which was extremely crucial to the series itself, and then all throughout with the combining with music, Apple Music, and Jack Antonoff, and all the artists that he brought to the soundtrack. Uh, so it, because it's Apple TV, because of the reach of Apple, uh, we were able to create what we hope is a very entertaining, transportive experience for an audience to see the new look. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.